Hey guys, Todd here, Law Enforcement Mowing. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Um, today's video, uh, I want to talk to you guys about the, the grass flap or the, uh, the grass blocker, or the shoot blocker that, that you guys use. I use the brand, it's called the grass flap, and I really like it. Um, it's, I think it's a good, uh, a good product. It, you can tell it's heavily made. But anyway, I had a malfunction with mine the other day, and um, I had to go buy a new cable and uh, get it back up and running. So I'm hoping this video helps some of you guys out and so you guys can avoid that and don't have to run to the parts store or your dealership and, and get a cable anytime soon. So um, let's get into this. <laughs> So what happened the other day, I was mowing, actually it was yesterday, I was mowing and uh, it was my last yard, uh, thankfully. And anyway, uh, the grass flap, the, the cable broke on the foot pedal to operate the, gas, the grass flap to, to close it or open it. And um, so what happened was I went to the dealership today, bought a new cable and was uh, replacing the cable on it. And what I found was that this cable um, has a deformity and apparently had been mashed and, and the cable's probably only about a year old. I've only had one season's use out of this cable. And so um, I thought that shouldn't have happened. Something, something's caused that deformity in it and caused the, the cable to get mashed. So the sheath that that cable runs through um, was probably fraying that cable from the inside and I didn't know it and, until it snapped. But anyway, I think I found the problem and I'm gonna show you guys what that is and how to fix it and uh, Let's get right. All right, guys, so this is the the foot pedal that I'm talking about, and this is mounted on the Xmark Laser Z X series with a 60-inch deck, in case anybody was wondering. And this is this is the grass flap itself. Let me pull it up here and show you. So this is the grass flap. Um, this is the brand that I use, and I really like it. Um, it's, it's really done well, and uh, it's pretty versatile. So anyway, um, as you can see, this cable, here uh, runs over to the foot pedal and it runs under the deck. So when I bought this mower, um, the dealership mounted it for me. And as you can see, let me open this up here for you guys. As you can see, uh, the cable is routed here and it goes underneath the deck and I zip tied it there and it comes out over here and runs over to the, uh, the flap itself. And so, um, as you can see, I've got plenty of height here, so it's not gonna engage in any of the, the, uh, the pulleys or the belt or anything like that to, to cause a malfunction. So, but anyway, what I, what I learned was that when the dealership had run this, they ran it here and they ran it on this side and under the deck and it came out over here and it was zip tied through these holes and it ran over to to the uh the the flap and so i was looking at the other cable and i thought let me examine this cable a little bit and see what's going on here because like i said this thing's only about a year old and i'll show you guys what i'm talking about here you can see where the cable has has obviously a deformity right here if i get it in focus for you and which tells me that that cable has come in contact with something and mashed that cable. And that's what's caused the cable to fray inside and, and eventually break. But like I said, it shouldn't have done that because it's only a year old. So let me show you what I think the problem was, was with the routing, but let me show you. So where let me show you where this, this uh, cable is, I think is pinching. And as you can see, the deformity is right here on this cable. And so it's between the top of the deck and the frame of the mower is where I think that the the issue was was caused or the problem was caused. But anyway, um, this this part this is the top of the frame of the deck. Uh, as you can see, this is the the top of the deck, and then they have this uh, this frame I guess welded around here. But anyway, and this is the the frame of the uh, the mower. So when this deck goes up and down, this is at its its highest highest uh, height right now which is in the, uh, the, the carry mode or the load mode. When you load it on your truck, you, you lock it all the way to the top. It's locked all the way to the top. So you can see there's not a lot of room 
there's probably about an inch and inch and a half maybe from the top of the deck to the frame of the mower. And so uh, any time that this deck hits something rough and it goes all the way up, I have found that it, it can come in contact with this. And that's where the cable was running, was between, was, was zip tied through this hole here and running this way on the bottom of the frame. So when this came up and caught this, uh, caught this cable, it, it caused it to, it caused this right here. And so that, that is the issue I think that uh, has caused the, the cable to break. So anyway, um, I hope that helps some of you guys out there. So uh, going here and around this way as opposed to under here and zip tying it to the frame on these holes. And I've routed it over here and zip tied it there because I believe this is not a pinch point. So in the future, when this uh, deck goes up and down, um, it won't have anything to pinch on. These are these are just the plastic guards for the the pulleys and the belt, and this uh, this this can't come up that far and hit that. I've already checked it, so everything should be good there. So the the new routing. So if any of you guys have a X Mark Laser Z out there and you've got the grass flap and you've got your cable mounted, you may want to you may want to take a look at it, and make sure that it it doesn't it's not in any danger of a pinch point, so that this doesn't happen to you. So caused me a little bit of downtime today, which is no big deal. I went by the dealership and, and picked up the cable and it didn't take probably, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes to put it on. So it, it wasn't a big project or anything like that. And uh, I'm not saying that it's the, the dealership's fault by any means. Um, it's just one of those things that I, I don't know that that's ever happened to them or they, they know about it. So I'm probably gonna call them up because I have a good relationship with the dealer here where I live in Kingsport. And I'm gonna give them a call and let them know, you know, that that's how I think that that happened. Not that I, I'm trying to get anything out of that. I've already bought the cable and I don't want reimbursed or anything of that nature. I just want them to know so that in, uh, in the future when someone else buys one, uh, maybe they can address it and, and route the cable a different way so that that doesn't happen uh, to anybody else and uh, they have some downtime. So, but anyway, let's go out here, guys. I've got a, uh, not a full day, but a, probably about a half day. So I'll get this thing loaded back up now and get out here and mow some yards. Guys, I hope this video was helpful to some of you guys out there. Um, hopefully this won't happen to you. Uh, like I said, it's not a great big deal, but at least it you know, might help somebody that has some value, so I thought I would post it. And again, if you guys like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.